And we are back, this time at Tate Britain, darling. This time with some different art and some different people. I'm about to go inside, have a chat with Paigey Keiki and Gecko to see how art inspires them and what they think of the place. Let's go. Yes, famous. This is one of the most famous paintings ever in life. This is Van Gogh's Sunflowers. It's a bit mad, actually, seeing a painting that you've seen like the picture of. Yeah, it's, I feel like, you know when you meet someone that's famous and you feel like, oh my God, that's, that's <laughs> them. That's what this feels like with a painting. It's that's like, oh my God, like, this, is, this is you. So, I mean, obviously we've got loads of these other artists who were clearly inspired by yeah. Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. Who are you inspired by in life? Everyone, really. Yeah. I grew up listening to like Miss Dynamite and Missy Elliott, so mm. they're my biggest inspirations. But right now, I'm not just inspired by music. Yeah. I'm inspired by colours. I'm inspired by foods, flavours. So I see it as like if I like to eat a nice meal and then put that flavour into my music. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not just inspired by music, but right now I'm inspired by the colour pink. So, so what does a pink song sound like then? It sounds like vibrant, energetic, and yeah. it lifts you up. It sounds like a positive, happy song. I like that. Yeah. Right, should we have a look at some of the other art pieces? Yeah, that'd be lit. So this is Frank Bolin's collection, it's called Maps. And as you can see in each of these, we've got like the outline of a continent or two or three. I don't know, because there's a whole lot going on. You can always see see Africa, Africa on everything. Yeah. Do you know what I feel like? I feel like we're looking at clouds right now. And we're trying to get like shapes from the clouds. Yo, he must have mad anxiety, you know. <laughs> he, he must have mad thoughts or something. He just... Yeah. And the, the thing about him, which I really love as well, and his artwork, is that as you can see as well, like he makes mistakes and he's not scared to make the mistakes. Like, I feel like he actually enjoys... You don't think he starts from scratch? ...the mistake. He looks like he just carries on when he makes a mistake. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, even the way these colours are dripped, they look like he made a mistake and yeah. he just saw... He but he like, embraces it. Yeah. I make mistakes all the time. We're not perfect. I made a mistake the other day when I was recording and I, it, I liked it. Yeah. So I kind of just done what he done and I just run with it. Yeah. So sometimes I pronounce things wrong. And I say, actually, no, that sounds cool. Yeah, but that's saying that. Yeah, that's so saying like, that. Andy yeah, is, so uh, like music. Sometimes I sound like I did a note wrong and then yeah, it's in back so, of the way. Yeah, do you know what? You're actually, works. you're the king of that anyway, but you make it work, like, yeah. If you're talking about that, then yeah. Yeah, like, so musically, we make mistakes, but sometimes it just works, so you just keep it and you continue. All right, should we go and see the other stuff? Yeah, come yeah. on. Come on, man. <laughs> yes. This right here is Monster Chetwind. So the thing about her is that she changes her name quite a lot on a regular basis. Now I'm interested, both of you have really interesting names anyway. So can we get into that? How did you both come up with your names? And would you ever change it? Well, my name is Paige. So my name is Paige Ikegi, like my artist name. Kate. Is like slang for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only child, so when I grew up, I was oh, very much like. So you were spoiled. I wasn't spoiled. But I was very much like I had the latest, if that makes sense. And Fair would enough. I change my name? I don't know. I feel like it's quite childish, but I just feel like my name has a. It rings a bell, like yeah. you know, Pagey Cakey. Yeah, if, yeah, if I said Paige, it's a bit too like. Yeah, yeah. that's you. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep it. What about you, Gecko? How would you get your name? Gecko is a lizard, isn't it? Slimy. Quick, slimy quick. antics. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. And certain lizards obviously can just camouflage and, you know what I'm saying, hide and stuff. And people just like calling me Gecko, innit, in Cardiff. That's where it all started, so. Aye. Would you ever change it? Never in a million years. I'd die with Gecko. <laughs> all right, we're done. Crazy bad lady, we're done with you. Let's go to the next thing. <laughs> Well, this is colourful. I love this. This is called Sleepless, and it's basically about the intensity of living in a city, like when you're trying to get to sleep and that. That's this why there's so many... So, it makes this sense, is making it? so much sense. Yeah. We've all grown up in a city. So, Gecko, you grew up in Manchester. Manchester. <laughs> mm -hmm. Paige, you grew up in London, oh, Hackney. Hackney. How would you say that growing up in a city, how, is, how has it impacted you? Um, one thing I can say is it's, it's made me very streetwise. 
I grew up in Hackney. Back in the day, Hackney was the worst place to live in London. It was the hood. It's changed now, but when I was growing up, it was a bad place. But I feel like it made me a better person, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm very confident and I'm not afraid to say how I feel. And that's just come from where I grew up. Like I grew up and I always had to stand up for myself. And yeah, I feel like that's why I'm a rapper as well. Because really? I wanted to voice what's going on mm. and just put music out there, you know? What about you, Gecko? What did Manchester do for you? <laughs> Manchester's all right, you know. It's a nice, calm place though. Yeah. yeah. How has it changed you? Like, how do you think it's moulded you? I just wouldn't be who I am. There's nothing at all that's not Manchester about me, innit? Everything is Manchester about me. Like, every single thing about me is Manchester. All right, we got one more, guys. Should we go and have a look at it? Let's see it. So this is the real sophisticated stuff. The real art. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the one I want to look at. It's John Simpson, it's called Head of a Man. And this man right here uh, was an actor, a Shakespearean actor. And actually he was from New York and he traveled to England because he felt that in New York at that time he didn't have as many acting opportunities. I'm just seeing it as it's mad because for the year that it was painted and it's a black man mm -hmm. and he's an actor. Mm -hmm. And slavery was still happening. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm baffled as to yeah. How was he a free man acting in, sh in a Shakespearean yeah. play? Like, well, whoever painting him, big respect, John Simpson. So no, he's, he's a G as well. <laughs> he is. No, to have the courage as well to travel to a whole other country yeah. where you don't know what's happening. There weren't no internet back in the day. Yes, he wouldn't <laughs> even know. No news, nothing. Just exactly. Horses. And you oh, come wow. from a place where there's super so it could races. be even worse. Yeah. Exactly. That's mad. And they got this really cool thing here as well. You gotta scan this thing here. One second. Let me get this pop in. So you lot can see the maddest thing. That's sick, isn't it? Cool. Sick. Yeah, that's cool. That's mad the way they've done that. <laughs> I wish he was allowed to see this. Goofy that is... stuff. Man. He'd probably be freaked out too. Yeah, he probably would. So guys, that's it for our tour today. It was fun. I enjoyed yeah. it. I didn't know it was going to be all right. It was all right. It was all right, innit? On the way here, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be dread. It was actually good, like, looking at art. Gecko, you're an art critic now. Nah, not really. Yes, but you I'm, are. Certified. I'm right. I feel it, though. I feel it. I'm not joking. I actually feel yeah. it. I'm not just saying it for camera. Would you not come back? I would, you know. I was already planning my head. I want to come back with, like, a few friends, maybe a glass of wine, and just yeah. walk around. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, thank, thank you, man. It's been good fun. Another day, another Tate tour. Honestly, I think Paigey, Cakey and Gecko really enjoyed that, you know? And you can too, because all 16 to 25 year olds can sign up to the Tate Collective for free. You'll get monthly late events, five pound exhibition tickets, loads of free stuff as well, guys, and a co-working space, as well as loads of other great, amazing things. So make sure you click that link in that bio to sign up.